Hi guys, I'm here today with another page in my traveler's notebook and I'm using the August um, Pocket Life Kit from Citrus Twist Kits. I loved this um, puffy word sticker perfection and of course it had to go with Lil's photo. So I'm just picking out one of the six by eight papers from the kit and I picked this one because it does have that little sort of peachy color in it. So I'm just gonna trim off the strip at the top and then I am gonna run that through my silhouette machine um, using this month's cut file from Citrus Twist Kit. So you can pick that up from their um, Facebook fan page. So I just adjusted it a tiny bit so that it would fit um, on my six by eight paper. And now I'm gonna carefully peel it off. There are of course all these tiny little pointy bits. So I'm just being careful not to rip it. I don't wanna get to this point and then rip the page. So I'm being careful to peel that off. And I mean, there's all these like little asterisky pieces left over too that I think I could use, but I'm gonna use this whole background piece today. So I'm just trimming that down so that it will fit onto um, the page in my notebook. And it's not quite, like it's not gonna be quite full page. It does have a little sort of white border around it, but I quite like that. So this is gonna end up sort of like a really big layering piece. And I'm just gonna glue that down into my notebook. But I had the most extraordinary trouble with this tape runner this time. I just, I have no idea what was wrong with it. It kept pulling off. It was just annoying, to be honest. So I'm just sort of adding a little bit of tape printer wherever I can, wherever there's sort of like a slightly larger piece. So um, the wee bits in the inside and also a few pieces around the outside too, just to make sure it doesn't peel off any. And then I can stick that down. I have sort of folded back my notebook because it is getting rather chunky to work with. So it makes it slightly more difficult to get it into place. I'm just trying to make it reasonably straight. And then I can just pop my clip back on it just to hold it flat. So I've got my little photo. And I think I'll just pop my title down first because I know that that's going to go there. But I also know it's going to be a total squeeze to try and fit this in. So it's not going to fit in exactly how it was on the sticker sheet. So I'm going to just place it down really, really lightly just to make sure I can fit it all in. And it does fit, but it's a bit squishy by the R and the F so what I think I'll do is cut the tail off the end and that will give me a bit more room on that side so I'm just using my scissors and just to trim it off nicely and then I can move everything over just a little bit so I'm sort of placing that sort of the bottom third of the page and then I'm going to try and line up my photo cluster um, sort of at the same height as that So I'm just grabbing bits and pieces that I had. So I had a circle that I had punched out of that gold foil paper that I didn't want to go to waste. So I'm definitely going to use that. It gives it a wee sparkle. And then I'm just going through the die cut pack just to see um, what pieces out of there that I might be able to use. So I really like those floral pieces. So I'm going to use them. And maybe a few tabs and tags and that sort of thing. But mostly I'm going through all of it to see what I like. So I think that's about it. I really liked this tag, even though it's sort of a strange color. It doesn't go with any of the other colors on the page, but it sort of gives it a wee pop. So I'm gonna add that behind the photo and then add on my circle, which, you know, I sort of glued the tag down in the wrong place, but that's all right. I just moved the circle to the bottom instead. And then just add in all the other little bits and pieces. So I've got a tag and I've got um, another sort of tickety looking piece that says seriously. So that was cute. I thought I would use that as well. And that brings in the pinks too. So I'm just sort of roughly haphazardly gluing everything down there. Sort of happy with that. So I'll glue that tag in and then I can glue um, my whole piece down. This is a fun way to use up all those sort of leftover bits and pieces when you get these die cut packs, like just adding a few pieces in behind your photo. 
and that way it stays all pretty flat in your notebook as well so you know this one even though I've tried to keep this notebook pretty flat it still is reasonably bulky now that I'm getting towards the last few pages so this is, is still a great way to just keep everything um, as flat as you can so that your notebook doesn't become too hard to work with so I'm going to add these floral pieces in and I'm just working out um, the best way to put those. I like the blue one on that page because that's where a lot of the blues are. They're not really blues I guess, greens and purples, so that's why it ties in better over there than on the perfection side. And just adding a couple over here. So technically I've added three and that would be where I would normally stop, but I sort of wanted to add a few more and I was just playing around with the idea of whether keeping things in odd numbers like fives whether that would work as well so really this is again just an experimentation for me and although I don't love it as much as I do with like clusters of three I actually don't mind it so I think that sort of experimentation worked I was gonna add in one more tag but decided against it so this is pretty much where I'm gonna leave it with the embellishing And I wondered about adding a stamp, but actually there was um, a line on the cut apart sheet that I thought worked better than any of the stamps did. It says you had me at hello, which is appropriate for little Lil. And I'm just sticking that in with a Martha Stewart glue pen. And then I thought I would be done, but actually I'm going to add some chipboard. This chipboard isn't too thick, like normally I wouldn't put a chipboard in, but um, it wasn't too thick, so I decided to add that in. So I wondered about some of these lighter pieces um, and actually they don't stand out particularly well. It's probably better in real life than it is on video but I do decide to go for maybe some of these slightly darker pieces just to help it stand out a little bit more. I did just struggle with where to put the third one. And there you go, breaking the rule of three again, I'm going to add four. I mean, if you're going to break the rules, you might as well break them all entirely. And I don't hate the way it looks, so I guess that shows that rules are meant to be broken. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!